Hello, this is Max Media. When a character has to appear old, the makeup artist has to predict what they will look like when the actor is old. And now we're going to look at how well they got it right or wrong. Charles Foster Kane played by Orson Welles in Citizen Kane. This is probably one of the most um, iconic and first really good uh, makeup jobs for an actor. And um, he doesn't quite look that right. It doesn't match up to the uh, features on Orson's face. Vito Corleone played by Marlon Brando from The Godfather. Now this one really got it right, apart from the whole thing of him looking more Sicilian. So, apart from that, it really does look like an old Marlon Brando. So this one's a really good job. Michael Corleone played by Al Pacino in The Godfather Part 3. This is, of course, Vito's son, and this one doesn't quite look right, mostly because Al Pacino has um, look, he's aged and looked very differently than he was when he was very young. Not as good as um, Marlon Brando's look, but it's still not that bad. Father Lancaster Maris, played by Max von Sydow. Without a doubt, all out of all the makeup jobs I've seen, this one looks the best. I mean, it almost looks like the makeup artist had a photograph from the future of what this guy ended up looking like. It looks like really good makeup too. And of course, it's play. And what makes it believable is his performance. So yes, excellent job. George M. Cohen, played by James Cagney in Yankee Doodle Dandy. This isn't a very accurate uh, job, but. I don't think they put that much makeup on him because in this picture he seems a lot more older than he is in the movie. So um, it's decent at best. David Bowman, played by Keir Duella in 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is a fine achievement alright, but then you start to notice with other uh, makeup jobs in movies that, that the actors always seem to kind of their... Uh, their um, the features of the face seem to get rounder and that's something makeup can't do of course so Antonio Salieri played by F. Murray Abraham in Amadeus fantastic makeup indeed in fact I think uh, this won an Oscar for its makeup effects and possibly there might be too much he doesn't really look that recognizable when you compare it to F. Murray Abraham now but it's definitely believable. You do really feel like this is an old, crazy Salieri. And for the last one, we have Emmett Brown, played by Christopher Lloyd in Back to the Future. This is very accurate to the way Lloyd would end up looking in the future, to the point where they did the uh, Back to the Future 2015 commercial. There really wasn't any need for makeup, apart from changing the hair color, of course. His face, though, does look kind of uh, saggy compared to him in the movie, but it's still very good. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. This is Max Media signing out.